everyone, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying Everyday May. I'm uploading a new sit down video or vlog every single day. So follow me around daily life or just enjoy my usual videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. But every other day is a vlog. Blah, 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 blah. So today I have a good old collective haul because I haven't done one of these in goodness knows how long. So I've got a variety of bits from Primark, Topshop, River Island and uh, that may be it. Maybe a couple more random bits but uh, I'm going to start with Primark. First off can we all talk about this bag? Uh, this beautiful marble winged structured bag. How incredible is this? So it's got the little handbag handles but it also has a long strap where are you long strap there you are long strap as well which i'll probably wear it like that because i don't know if i'd wear this size like well i don't know i just prefer bags with the long straps at the moment anyway it's got a little section here it was 10 pounds as you can see uh how incredible i just love it who's the designer that has came out with a marble bag cake spade or rebecca, rebecca minkoff or some who was it? Oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just saw this and uh, I knew, I knew I had to get it. So I um, absolutely love that. And then I also got two more things from Primark. And usually I go into Primark and come out with loads. But I wasn't really in like the... I don't, I didn't want to be there too long this time. So I only picked up two more bits. But these three things together would make a pretty nice outfit. So the top I got is just a basic tee. And uh, it just has Beverly Hills on it. So there were quite a few of this kind of size and shape of t-shirt. And uh, one of them on the pocket said Heartbreaker. One was like, I love pizza. One was, there was just a whole range of them. But I thought this one I liked the most. And it looks like um, the tops you'd find in like whistles and places like that. But this one was only five pounds. And yeah, fair enough, it's a thin t-shirt, but uh, I really liked it anyway. Nice little basic for the summer. And then I saw these trousers and they actually had a matching jacket as well. But I just didn't like the fit of it on me personally. But, oh, look how beautiful this colour is. It's like a dusky rose blush petal shade and uh, these were 12 pounds. So we've got gold hardware at the front. It kind of reminds me of disco pants here. Um, but they're kind of like ankle grazer peg trousers, but they're super duper soft and comfortable, which is in, which is so important for trousers because I hate when you put them on and you can't bend. It's really, really not suitable. Um, but yeah, I love these. I think they're really comfortable, but I just think they're such a beautiful colour that would look nice with this shirt as well. Literally anything. Um, so those are my three purchases from Primark, which I think would make a pretty cracking outfit. Next up, some bits from Topshop now. So I went into the Oxford Circus Topshop down Oxford Street, like the, the biggest one, you know the one. And um, I wanted to get the gray sweatshirt, the Ivy Park one, so Beyonce's fitness range. Now, I went over to the area and they didn't have my size and I was I asked for it, they didn't have it. And I was like, hmm, do I go to the other top shops around London and find one? Or am I just buying this sweatshirt because of the name? So I established to myself, it's just for the name, I wanted a sweatshirt anyway, so I just thought I'll wander around Topshop, find one. I found a better one that I prefer. So, and I've worn it a few times already, including that evening, because in the cinema, do you ever find the cinema so cold? But um, yeah. So it is a grey sweatshirt and it's crew neck and... Uh, I just, I prefer this so much more. It's a lot more me and um, I just really liked it. Again, I'm going for some casual, comfortable vibes. But um, this was only like a few pounds cheaper than the Ivy Park one. So it wasn't to do with price or anything. But I just felt this was more appropriate for me personally. And I absolutely love it. It's so, so soft. And um, yes, I will say, I haven't washed this yet. But um, I've been told to hand wash it because it could go bobbly. But I love my little sweatshirt. And this next top I've actually had for quite a while and I've worn it in a few videos. Oh, it's just perfect. I just can't get over it. Um, I'm not sure if it's still in the store, but I'm gonna link all the items down below. If not, I'll link an alternative. So it's basically just a really nice top and it's quite structured, like it's, it's not 
soft and comfortable. It's like that there, there is material there. Um, so we've got little lace cuffs, a really beautiful high neck frill. It's kind of like a Victoriana lace top. And um, it's kind of cropped, but not, I wouldn't call it a crop top. And um, then we've got like the crisscross action going on. But I just absolutely love this top. I think it's so beautiful. It's a really nice basic with uh, beautiful detailing. So, love that. Then I've got two pairs of shoes. I've had these ones quite a while, but I know they're still in store. These are some beautiful black flats. They are pointed at the toe, and uh, we've got some gold eyelets everywhere, all over the shoes. I just thought they were really nice. I needed some plain-ish um, flats, and I love points. I, I tried on. I wore my sister's round flats the other day because I, I can't remember why I was just nipping out and um, I was like my feet look bizarre so uh, I've pretty much got used to the points these days but I just loved the uh, gold eyelet detailing on them I thought it made them really really nice and uh, very different to anything I have so got those shoes and I picked up these ones because I actually wanted to change into them because the shoes I was wearing the heel was a bit too much for me to be wearing rushing around it's not even a big heel I'll show you the shoes in a minute because I bought them and they're pretty new and I love them if I'm going out for dinner or if I'm going to a slow paced thing but rushing around St Paul's tube station was not the one and I was like Jones I've got to get some shoes because I can't do it so uh, yeah I got some new shoes but I love I love these anyway I've got some similar in black and um, I wear them all the time. But they're this really beautiful blush shade and um, little tiny heel, super comfortable. They're like summer boots. So they're boots, but with a cutout down the front, at the toe and at the back. And then we've got like some Converse action lace going on. Love those, weren't expensive and um, super comfortable, which saved the day. So I got those. And then finally from Topshop, I went into Topshop to buy three pairs of jeans. I wanted a pink pair, a gray pair of mom jeans, and then a blue classic denim pair. But the day before I'd found my blue denim pair, so I didn't need those. I didn't pick up the grey mom jeans just because, <clears throat> not quite there yet, <laughs> I don't know if I'm cool, um, but I did pick up the pink pair and these are the Jamie High Waist Ankle Grazer jeans. So they are in this beautiful rosy blush nude shade, they look tiny, don't worry, they fit me. They stretch, they're high waisted, you don't need to worry about that. Um, but they're, they just fit perfectly, like I love them and a couple years ago I would be like I can't wear jeans, I don't own jeans, I can't do it but I find these ones so comfortable as well so love those, they were £40 which I thought was good for a brilliant pair of jeans and uh, it's just nice to have a more subtle, I don't know why I have this thing in my head that wearing blue jeans is like whoa because it's the most casual like worn item of clothing ever probably but because I'm not used to it I have to settle for like a, a blush. I'll go on to River Island so I can show you the shoes in question so as you can see they're not like high heeled at all I just I they're not one for running through a tube station let's just say that so I got this pair of heels from River Island and they are faux suede they are comfortable as I said like if you're slow <laughs> and we've got the gold eyelet detailing around the back of the ankle and then these actually lace up like around the ankle and um, they just look really really nice I actually wore these in a blog post recently so I'm gonna leave that down below so you can see them on um, but absolutely love those even if I did have to buy a new pair of shoes. Actually, thanks River Island Heels, got some new shoes. I also picked up this pair of gorgeous spring summer trousers. So the material is kind of denim but not. Um, they're definitely not a typical trouser material. I do feel like they're quite denim-y. Um, but anyway, look how pretty! So they are cream slash off-white, which is kind of difficult to pull off in a trouser, but I just love this pattern. If you like the pattern but don't want trousers in it, then they do have a top and a jacket in this print as well. But they, again, they're just kind of ankle grazers, cropped trousers. I just thought they were so, so stunning. And uh, they uh, look make the bum make the bum look quite uh, quite poochy. And then two randoms, I picked up this top from H&M. I saw it on the mannequin and I really liked it. 
Um, I love it. I've worn it before. Um, it looks so creased. It's just this really nice pale blue um, bardo off the shoulder top and the sleeves are nice and puffy so they look really cute. But these straps are so annoying. I either want to cut them off but it looks really nice with the straps but these straps keep falling down. So and they're too short to knot. So I'm kind of in a conundrum. It's because I've got stupidly massive boobs. But I'm going to figure out the way that I can wear this top because I thought it was so, so nice. And I love H&M at the moment. And then finally, I have a dress from Simply Be. So it's that time of the year again where Fashion Targets Breast Cancer is all about raising money, coming out with new fashion pieces dedicated to the cause. So I have got a t-shirt that I got from River Island and that blog post is already linked below because that's when I uh, wore these shoes and I styled up one of their Fashion Targets Breast Cancer tees. So I came across this piece because a lot of the available items are kind of like t-shirts with prints on them or phrases and that kind of thing and if that is not your style, because um, like Earlier this year I'd be like, that's not my style, but I really like comfort right now. Um, if that's not your style, then I came across this dress, which is part of the campaign as well. So if you buy this dress, 30% of the sales go to Breast Cancer Now, which is the charity. Um, and it's this really pretty pale pink swing dress. It's lacy, it's got short sleeves, and uh, we've got a little keyhole, and then a little pussy bow at the top. So I just thought that I wanted to let you know, but also I love this dress so, so much. I'll be styling that on my blog pretty soon, I'm sure. But um, it's just a really nice spring summery dress, and obviously it's for a good cause, so why on earth wouldn't you? But um, yeah, just in case the printed items aren't really your thing, then I thought this was a really nice way to have a beautiful item of clothing, but also do good for the cause. So I got that from Simply Be, and that concludes my collective haul. Let me know what your favourite item of clothing shown is in the comments below. Let me know what shop you've been loving lately, because I really uh, enjoy a shopping spree. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!